First, we'll need to update the SDK file. The download link can be found in the installation guide. Just open this link in your browser. Click Downloads. Now accept the terms and download an appropriate SDK version. Copy the SDK's number version. Now rename the file and unzip it. Now copy the folder and paste it into your animates directory. Now open your FLA project. Now go to help and select manage Adobe Air SDK. Click the plus button and find the file's location. Now press manage settings and choose the latest target version of the SDK. Press Ctrl Enter or Command Enter on Mac to test the app. As you can see, we have several issues. To fix them, open more settings again. Go under Action Script Settings. Remove those files using the minus button. Press OK and reopen the window. Now browse to native extension and re-add the files. Close the window and open it again and re-add another file. Now press Ctrl Enter or Command Enter to see that everything works fine now. Now open your ActionScript main file. Provide your AdMobs app ID in this line. Below you need to enter 
your bonus ID. And finally, provide your interstitials ID. Here you need to provide a link to menu.php file. Insert your app IDs here. You may find it under more settings. Select player settings. And here's your apps ID. Copy it. and paste it here. Insert here your Google Place developer. Below, provide a link to the location of your PHP files. In the provider's XML file, you need to provide names and links to privacy policies of your ad providers. You will find them in your AdMobs panel. In your AdMobs account, go to Blocking Controls and then manage EU consent. Here you can create a list of your providers. If you click select providers or view common use providers, you will see uh, a list you can select from with the names and URLs to privacy policy. Now open your app's manifest XML file. Make sure you have all the permissions that you see here. You don't actually need the target SDK version since the latest Air SDK already has a target SDK set to 29. These need to be included if you want to display AdMob ads. Update this section with your AdMob's app ID. It's the same ID that you need to provide in your main file at line 45. Below you can see added previously extensions. Press more settings, player settings. Here you may change your app's name and below your app ID. Below that we have our app's version. First we'll need to export a 32-bit binary. Under deployment you may create a new certificate or use an old one. Press Publish to generate a 32-bit APK file. Our APK file has been generated. Our manifest file has retained all of its permissions, which is good. Now create a folder for your 32-bit APK file because we will need to create another one. Go to more settings, player settings, choose processor to be a 64-bit and increase the version number. And publish. Now we have a 64-bit APK file. 
first you will need to upload the 32-bit file to Google Play and then the 64-bit one. That's all for this presentation. Thank you for your time.